Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 837. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 836 to 847, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we want to do lookup multiplying. So in each one of the cells in this column, we need to look up each three different things, find the match here, go over and get that those probabilities, and then multiply them. So for example, here we need 0 0.2 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.8. The NF is 0.2, and then there's 2F, so we need that. So we need to look up multiple items and then multiply them. Now this is for my statistics class. This is a probability table. This is the sample space. We have an experiment, and each one of these are experimental outcomes. Now the probability here are, is a probability that Pete catches a fish on a particular day is 0.8, not catch a fish. 0.2, so we need to multiply these. All right, so let's do this. You know, you could just do VLOOKUP of that times VLOOKUP of this times VLOOKUP of that. Three VLOOKUPs, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do use the SUM IF function. Now, the SUM IF function, this range argument is expecting all of the items with a criteria. So since we need to look get these, I'm going to highlight just those two cells, just a single F and a single NF for range, and then criteria. This is the crux of this trick. I'm going to give it not one criteria, but three. Now, the range argument in sum if cannot handle arrays, but the criteria can. An array just means I'm giving it more than one item, comma, and then the sum range is this. Now, it's kind of misleading. It's not really a sum range. It's not going to add multiple items because there's only one F and one NF. It is the criteria. The fact that we're giving it three here will force the sum if function to just list that 0.8 three times. When we get down here, it'll list the 0.8 twice and the 0.2 one time. Now, let's just, um, actually, we need to lock these. So I'm going to hit, I should have done that earlier. I'm hitting the F4 key on each one of those. That needs to move relatively as we copy down, but the other two ranges need to be locked. Now let's just see if this is true. Highlight it and hit F9. If we give it three criteria, sum if better give us three numbers, F9. And sure enough, it does. Exactly what we want for this first experimental outcome, Control Z. Now what do we need? We need to multiply, so I'm simply going to put product. Now. The sum if criteria is expecting one thing. We're giving it three. That means this is an array formula, and you have to enter this with Control Shift and Enter. Don't just use Enter, Control Shift Enter. You told Excel this is an array formula with Control Shift Enter. Those curly brackets are Excel telling you that it understood that this was an array formula. If I were to just hit Enter, I get a, a, a zero or a value error. Control Shift Enter, you get the correct result. I'm going to double click and send this down. And sure enough, look at that. We get exactly what we want. So right here, you can see that the sum if, when I hit the F9 key, it went and got 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. And then the product, of course, multiplies. Boom. Now I'm going to click Escape because I don't want to hard code that in there. All right, so that's lookup multiplying. See you next trick.